Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Gun Survivor. When we last left off, we were on the final stretch of the game, actually, exploring the lab. So, let's continue. Oh, with this dreadful music. Uh, there we go. We pushed the switch, apparently. Warning, biohazard. That's what we like to see. That's what we're here for. Ooh, flame rounds. Why not? Sure. Blue herb as well, because... Sure, I guess? Don't know if we can actually be... Well, technically we could have been poisoned by these plants, I suppose. Oof. Speak the devil. Yeah, I remember seeing this back when I was a kid, and it was pretty, like, you know, uh, terrifying. But having said that, one thing that I will maintain to this day, uh, this game did cheapen these guys. Uh, at the time, we only knew them as Mr. X's, because, you know, we were kids, and we didn't really know what the hell was going on with Resident Evil. Um... Oof, nice. But we were like, these aren't really Mr. X's though, are they? Because Mr. X is a fucking monster and damn near unstoppable. These guys take a couple of handgun bullets to the face and they're down and out. So, interesting. Also, I like the way they're just 2D sprites here. Back on the old CRTVs. Uh... We couldn't really notice that back in the day. <laughs> also, for some reason, like, I had it in my head that there was hundreds of these guys stacked around. And there's just, like, a couple of containers. Curious. Anyway, let's move on. Might have been coffee-induced overdosing. Uh, you know, early stages of caffeine poisoning or something. Um... Yeah, this ain't gonna end well. Well, I mean, he took care of the hunter. Blood. Hang on. Even the hunters just look wrong. Kind of look like fucked up Batman if you look at their face. They really are just odd, to be honest. And <laughs> that's such a joke as well. Oh dear. At least one of them is. If you've got more than one then what? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. What are you talking about? What? It's not your fault. Vincent is the one who caused everything. Well, I mean I you? What do you mean? What do you mean? You're the detective. Your name is Ark Thompson. What? Really? I'm not Vincent? Then why did you run away from me? Dun dun dun. Because I'm the one that told Vincent about you. Hello, I'm Vincent. I've been transferred to this facility to inspect it. Nice to meet you, sir. I know Commander Vincent. So I knew that you weren't him when I saw you. What? A spy? Hmm. Thank you. You are a good boy, Lot. So then I'm Ark, and not Vincent. Lot, do you know of any way to get off this island? My dad told me that there's a railway station up ahead from here. A railway station? I've heard that it runs underground. Okay, we'll use that. Let's go get Lily. Go ahead! Hurry! We'll meet at the station! The self-destruction system has been activated. This island will self-destruct in... 
10 minutes. 10 minutes. All the personnel must evacuate immediately. Repeat. All the personnel evacuate immediately. Even the uh, announcer for the self destruct system sucks. It's just all the personnel must evacuate immediately. It's just, uh, no. Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, right, so I'm curious. Do we actually have two first aid sprays now? Your inventory doesn't even sort itself, which is annoying. I mean, it, it actually has here. So. Well, not properly, though. It's, oh, I don't know, man. It's just, it's such a mess. Um, anyway. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see if we can get the fuck out of Dodge. Because things do seem to be escalating. That's right. At the request of my friend, Leon S. Kennedy, I came here to investigate. Oh, yes. I remember. I remember everything. Ah, uh, yes. He remembers that he has a friend called Leon. Tell me the truth. You are a spy, aren't you? Do we not have a gun? Could we not have just shot him? Uh. Yes, I'm not Vincent. I'm Ark. Yeah, yeah, very droll. Okay, so we actually need to go through there, but I don't think we can yet. There appears to be a shutter switch. It's currently locked. Yeah, we need to go activate the shutter. Cool, Ryan. Now let's go check out the only door that we have. This game's very linear as well, but then, you know, I guess all. Oh, hey, zombies. Hey, zombies. Hey, 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 hey. Can we drop you? There we go. Right, let's get ourselves a little bit of space to maneuver. Ooh. Right, let's clear this lane. Clear the lane. There we go. One round left. There we go. Oh, there's some magnum rounds there. Oh, so I didn't miss any magnum rounds. I just forgot. Oh, we can't shoot their feet. That's disappointing. Okay. Let's just keep working over these guys. Just a couple of them left now. There we go. Oh, I really should play Hogs of War at some point. <clears throat> Man, Hogs of War. What a game. Okay, let's grab that. You've obtained magnum rounds. Yes, we have. How observant of you. Uh, also, we need to keep going. This is a cool operation center. Uh-oh. That's a big tube with a big thing in there. Ah, it's probably a T-03, right? It's locked. Um. Uh... Uh, pretty sure we have the key. Might be wrong though. Do we not have the key? Uh, wait a minute. I have possibly missed something. Well, that's a kick in the knickers, isn't it? Yeah, definitely can't fiddle with that. Alright. Wait a minute. Did I miss something back here? We can't go into E area yet. Because we need to open that. The key. The key. We can go further back. How interesting. I didn't think we could. Back to the fart music. Ugh, I can't believe we've missed a key. But we picked the key up though, didn't we? 
I'm sure we picked the key up. Hmm. We got the key from there. We got the Mo disc. Ah, what a ball leg, guys. There's no key in here. There was only the Mo disc through here. Where the liquor was. Oh. Oh, the liquors have disappeared. Excellent. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Hmm. Through the door, Ark. Who is definitely not Vincent. So. Where, pray tell? What have I missed? Here's me thinking I'm doing a serviceable job. You know. Uh, I guess not. I do love that fast oh that fast forward mode. So this just leads back here. Um okay. So I guess we could quickly check out the area behind us, but I'm pretty sure that I haven't missed anything. I know we don't have to go back upstairs. These zombies always come back though, these undead skinned ones. <clears throat> Or naked zombies, I guess. Which is similar to um, the OG Resident Evil games. No, because there's nothing back here, though. There's nothing to have missed. What is going on? Yeah, this is all powered up. Uh, what bullshit is this? And this is a button that's in that room that I've forgotten to push, which is uh, absolutely possible. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an actual guide to this game. Wow, <laughs> that's stupid. Of course there is. Uh, I should have maybe looked one up. What did I? I can't remember. I have looked for my bookmarks. All my days roll into one, I tell you. There are work days. And there are fun days. And the fun days are a lot fewer than the work days, I can tell you. Okay. So, there's nothing in there. We got his, like, card. There was nothing through there. That boop has already been beeped. We're just wasting time at this point. Back to the fart track. Nothing here that we've missed. Why do I get the feeling that Mr. X is supposed to have dropped a key, but that's not true. Oh, that music. There's nothing here apart from an F8 spray. Bearing in mind this place is going to explode in 10 minutes. Honest. Yeah, this is the only area to go, so there has to be... I must have forgotten about a button in here. Come on, Ark. You've been here before, dude. It's locked. Is there a key in this room? Oh, I am stupid. Big console in the middle of the room. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so that's now unlocked the E area. I'm guessing it's E for everybody. I'm not sure. I mean, what else would E stand for? Let's be real here. I hope I haven't just worsened my score. Because that... Yes, we know the shutter is down, Ark. Ark Thompson friend of Leon that uh, as my friend Jimmy would say will never be heard from again all right there we go yes Leon's unknown friend <laughs> I like the way they just slip Leon's name in there as if it's you know important somehow it's 
you know, like, ah, that's the gotcha that ties everything in the franchise together. There we go. Uh, not really. Uh, no, to be honest. Keep clean. What? Keep the door clean? Keep yourself clean? Keep the room clean? What are we keeping clean here? Hello, big boy. Now, there's the key that we really wanted. You've obtained the master key. Yeah, this room's kind of interesting. This appears to be the control panel of the cultivation capsule. Now, I'm guessing that's a T102, uh, T I guess, like a proper old school tyrant. I'm not sure. You've obtained how to extract the material. How to extract the beta hetero neuroserotonin. That's a fucking mouthful. To establish a system of mass producing tyrants, it is absolutely necessary during the process of gene cultivation a large amount of pure beta hetero neuroserotonin or non no non serotonin, sorry, must be injected. This material is one of the human brain's elements. It has been revealed that this material is mainly produced by the pituitary of people at the latter period of developing their second secondary sex characteristics so late stage teenagers then early 20s that sort of age okay uh, also medical data shows that this cerebral material is produced in response to the excessive secretion of noradrenaline uh, that is produced from the locus cerealis in the brainstem. Noradrenaline is the cerebral material. Fuck me, do I need a science lesson for this? Is uh, the cerebral material secreted when people are in a state of extreme tension of fear. As the beta hetero uh, non serotonin only exists in active cells, you can't extract it from the dead brain. My dyslexia is not doing me any favours here. Thus, the best way to extract the material is to cut open the subject's skulls without using anesthesia. This will cause excessive secretion of noradrenaline. Uh, the pituitary is then ripe for immediate extraction. Vincent Goldman. Goldman! <gasps> From fucking House of the Dead. Coward man! Uh, Commander Tyrant Plant on... Sheena Island. Is that the first mention that we're on Sheena Island? Maybe. Anyway, after that delightful little relevation, uh, relevation, relevation, whatever, uh, we can move on. So, I wonder if the T-102 is going to wake up. I'm assuming it's a T-102, doesn't really say. It might be T-103, but I don't think so. so awful. Look at how slowly he walks towards us as well. Alright, let's get this done. Shall we? I mean, I guess we could break out a more powerful weapon here, but you know, like everything else, all you've got to do is shine your ass to him and suddenly you're invincible. Uh, yeah. It's questionable, really. I guess we'll break out the shotgun. Just, you know, otherwise we'll be here all day. Sure, we've got a shotgun here somewhere. For a game that was so based around difficulty, that we weren't that bothered here, were they? Come on. There we go. Last two rounds in. 
Um, now, that guy that we just saw there, who was the leader of the cleaners, there is a potential of three characters. There we go. He's had enough to appear there. Um, I don't know how you trigger them. Uh, I did read that it was based on what path you take uh, in the beginning, whether you go through the arcade, um, the church, or the cinema. Now, I've replayed through this, and I took a different way. And we've got him. And when I completed it on my own, uh, off camera, I got him as well. So that can't be right. Uh, but apparently, you can either have the Mole Man turn up, or you can have Vincent turn up, but whoever turns up uh, gets killed by the uh, T-102 or whatever the hell that tyrant is. Anyway, well, that sack of shit's out of here. Let's go. I was hoping that I'd see someone different, but yeah, so the leader of the cleaners is human, but the cleaners aren't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you didn't think that tyrant was finished just yet, did you? They never are. Anyway, let's go. Now we've used the key. That's why that door was locked, because I was being a stupid. I'm usually being a stupid. Oh, right. Ooh. Cleaners. And again, this depending on who turns up, uh, I can't verify this, this is just what I've read, but depending on who turns up, these enemies can be different. If it's the leader of the cleaners, then you get cleaners. If it's, uh, you know, others, you get other enemies here. So, you know, but all the time that I can remember ever playing this, it's always been cleaners. There's a quite, well, there's not a load of them here, but there's, there's a few. There's always one more, isn't there? There's always one more. Oh, I guess so. Is there unlimited here? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Could have taken a lot more damage there than we actually did, but not too bad. Okay, cool. <laughs> kind of annoyed that I had to go back, so I've got to push a freaking button. I don't feel really stupid about that, but... Ugh. Oh, no. This bit. Yeah. What I'm going to do here, guys... I'm... Actually, I'm going to put a save state down here. Because... This fucking sucks this is really cheap and i remember even when we were kids we got killed by this a few times um so yeah and because there is no saving uh apart from these save states i'm just gonna drop one there because this bit is really savage it doesn't you if i explain to you what happens here it seems pretty easy but oh i had to cheese this um, you push the switch. Yeah, kind of like Resident Evil 2. We have to push the switch to open the gate for the train. Now, a shit ton of cleaners will appear behind us. I think there's unlimited of them. But two of them are above us. And they will literally destroy us in seconds. Because without the light gun, you can't really aim quick enough. Okay, yeah, there they are. They're up there. They're up there. So, I'm just going to grab these shotgun shells. Now, because our backs to them, we're invincible. That bit, I died quite a few times on that. I started to get really frustrated until I just thought, the only way I'm realistically going to get out of there is if I cheese it by walking backwards. Um, yeah. We get this lovely music. We're free. Mister. Ugh, kids. Okay. So yeah, that's that's it guys. We've won. Game over. Sweet. Let's go check our rank, shall we? 
And there's the lift out of here. Oh, look at that. Um, no one? Oh, you want me to go through the door first? Okay. I can do that. Uh, might drop a save because no, nah, I know nah, we we don't need to. Get in the helicopter. <clears throat> oh god, he looks pretty cool actually. Hello, it's dude. Still alive. It is still alive, Ark. These tyrants are fairly meaty. Now, there's a multitude of tactics that we can use. We can either stand still and let him come at us and shoot him in the face or we can run around taking pot shots at him which using a control pad is really difficult using a um, light gun is really easy because you can stop uh, snap off a few shots you don't have to hold down buttons and all that kind of shit so at least I don't remember you do so my tactic is now uh, is just um, tank him basically He's really not that difficult. We are low on health though, and because we're on caution, it is possible, thinking about it, that we could. Let's go for the grenade, actually. Grenade, combine. Uh, let's put all of those in there. The grenade launch is cool because it's powerful and it has a really quick reload. Um, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Oh god, we can just continuously stun him if we get the timing right. We have not really got the timing right. Ow, dude. You're really not being overly kind to me. He's kind of jumping over me actually, which is curious. Well, that's his first form down. I like it when it switches back to the original graphics without the emulation enhancements on the videos. Yeah. Wouldn't be a tyrant without a bit of mutation now, would it? There's the heart. Always have an exposed heart, don't they? Right, well, uh, did we use all of those grenades? I mean, I guess so. Acid grenades? Ugh, I mean, you get so few of them in the game. We will eat a mixed herb, just because. Uh, not really sure. What they're that good on, to be honest, but... You only get one pack, unless you get lucky. Now, when he lifts you up like that, uh, you can just shoot him and he will drop you again. Otherwise, he does a move that will... I i don't know if it's an instant kill. If it isn't, it's pretty fucking close. But that's fine. Let's just combine. Because the Magnum takes a while to reload. Let's just say that. You want to be very... Oh, God. And I fucked it up. Yeah, that reload is savage. Now, I'm not sure if shooting him in the heart does more damage. It may do. But, you know, you don't really have a huge amount of time to <laughs> fiddle around and play with it. Let's switch up. Oh, we got more grenade rounds there. Notice how we had two stacks of grenade rounds in our inventory. But the grenade... Rams didn't stack. He is blocking us there as well. You can see his claws getting in the way, but... Ow. It's not that bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's it. Kind of looks a little bit like Spawn, doesn't he? Not Spawn. Um, Venom. Greatest line in Resident Evil coming up. Hey, and that was a 30 minute video there I'll take. Perfect. Ten seconds to 
destination. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It can't be! Here we go, here we go. We're just gonna ignore what happened there because it was terrible. What are we gonna do, mister? Yeah, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know, but don't worry. We can fly as long as we have fuel. We can fly as long as we have fuel. Ark Thompson, everybody. We can fly as long as we have fuel. I mean, I get it. The dude's tired, right? He's had a lot of shit to get through. But come on. They, they could have signed this game off with something with a little bit more effort than that. Just, you know, I'm not asking for fucking Shakespeare, but something, you know? Oh, God. So, does this game still hold up in 2021? With all of my criticisms and all the negative things that I've had to say about this game. Yes, it does. Because it's still fun to play through. It's like a so shit it's good movie. It really is. Um, I could quite happily go back through that game again. And I would still have fun with it. So, yeah, I mean... It's actually quite an expensive game now as well. It, it will easily cost you about £50, £60 pounds if you went out to buy it. I uh, have no idea what it costs over the pond, but it's not a cheap game. And is it worth that? The collector in me says yes, just to have it on the shelf. But the realist in me says no. Download it and emulate it. I would like to see this come back in some kind of collection. Like if they did uh, an OG Resident Evil collection. Just add this as an unlockable. It's, you know, what? Two hours max of gameplay here. Uh, it doesn't really have a lot of replay value to it. They did try and add some extra paths. Some different choices. But they don't really do anything. Um, and they really are not worth going back through the game. Now, you have to finish this game in one shot as well. There are no save saves, you know, uh, going through it. We're lucky because we have emulation, uh, so we can get around that. The story is uh, non-existent, pointless, forgettable. The characters, do the, are they worthy of mention? Not really. It really is. Uh, it really feels like they just had nothing Resident Evil on, on the docket for that year. So they just had to throw something out there with the Resident Evil logo. Cobbled this together in a few months. Uh, if that, farted it out. And there we go. Um, and it feels like that as well. Right, let's see what rank we got. We got an eight. Oh, we yeah. did it in about five or seven minutes quicker. We got an A rank. And I'm pretty sure that A rank is the best rank you can get. Um, there's no extra modes in this game. 
uh, gun collection, we got all the guns we possibly could. The only guns that were missing were handgun B, D. I think we can get a rocket launcher as well, but I think that's an unlockable. I think. I don't know if how we get that. 72% accuracy was better than I got before, actually. Uh, killed monsters, 145. I, funny enough, actually, I think when I um, finished it before, I think it was 144 monsters. And I think my accuracy was like 65%. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I completed it with a clear time of around 1 hour 45 minutes-ish, something like that. So, yeah, happy with that. Now, gun collection will improve over time. Because if, I'll show you actually, if we go and continue now, one thing that I do like about this game, but it doesn't really redeem it from a multiple playthrough. So would you like to save the weapons you've attained? Yes, I guess this is all you can do with um, ink ribbons. So if we save up now, we've saved to memory. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so there we go. I was 62% hit accuracy before and I killed yeah I was right 144 enemies all right so let's give this a save okay to quit saving uh yeah I, I guess now if we load game yeah load that now checking the memory card and uh, we can load that and we can take another path and pick up another gun. So to get all the guns in the game, you actually have to play this like three times through. Which is a little bit much. I don't think I'd want to play this game three times. But as you can see, if we go, we don't get our health items, do we? No, we don't have our health items, unfortunately. But we keep all the ammo and stuff that we had at the end, which is interesting. But let's have some fun because, you know, we're playing it on an emulator. Let's go into our menu here. Let's shrink down. Yes, we shall save. State of the emulation. And um, we can, if we actually... Uh, All right, so we've paused it. Now, why is it not letting me do that? Saying we can resume. Um, let's save a save stop slot here and power off. And then resume. Now we can go into cheats. We can go to cheat manager. And what I like about this emulator is your game shark's already plugged in. So if it's available, we can we can fuck with it. Uh, so we can actually add uh, 16 by 9 widescreen support, which I didn't actually realize until um, I played it. But it is, it's not great. Uh, one hit kill on dogs is great. One hit kill on zombies is fine. Open all doors, not really sure why you'd have that. That's a bit weird. And you can walk through walls as well, which is cool. Now, what I like doing, remove firing speed cap plus turbo fire. And we can have, we can throw on like infinite continues and infinite health, that kind of stuff. Uh, and we can have unlimited ammo for all of these guns. Now, uh, there is a thing that you need to be careful with this. And there's also a memory scanner. So like if you want to do really cool fucked up things you can i love this emulator uh anyway let's get out of that and that should now be activated hopefully yeah there we go unlimited ammo uh the only thing is uh, a word of warning is notice how all of our guns that we're not using now have 99 ammo Apart from that, that has 104, apparently. If you select one of these other guns, the game will crash. Because the game can't handle that much ammo being in the weapon. Which is unfortunate, but, it, you know, it's the way it is, I suppose. But it is fun to just, like, run around. 
and blast zombies with unlimited ammo. Like, they literally have no chance in hell. Um, I don't know if I'd actually play through. Yeah, maybe you. Maybe I would. Uh, let's go through the cinema because the cinema has like zombies straight off the bat. Yeah, even this fast fella here is literally no match for the overwhelming amount of damage we can do. Now, what's interesting is, oh, look at it. It's just nuts. <laughs> Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, guys, that's like Resident Evil uh, Gun Survivor. It's a shit game, but it's still entertaining and it's still fun to play. It's not the worst game that was um, ever released with a Resident Evil name, that's for sure. This game does get a bad rap and quite rightly so in a lot of ways, but... You know, I'm just a bit of a sucker for Resident Evil. Uh, even a bad Resident Evil game, as I've said before, I, I still enjoy them. Uh, there was a Gun Survivor 2 that never actually came out in America. It only came out in Europe, funny enough. And it's for the PlayStation 2. I did live stream it years back when I could actually live stream games. Uh, when we had this stuff called Internet. And it's very different. It's Resident Evil Code Veronica, basically, with set maps with a time limit. It's very arcadey. And you pick up power ups as you go. And if you don't make it to the end of the level within a certain time limit, Nemesis starts chasing you. Yes, Nemesis in Code Veronica. Look, don't try and work it out, right? It's just that is what it is. It's a weird game. It's. Really not very good, but maybe, who knows, we'll, we'll crack it out and we'll have a go. Um, I think playing that on an emulator would be way more fun than playing it on an actual PlayStation 2. Just because... Uh, that would be a very frustrating game to try and complete legitimately without save states and whatnot. I mean, I'm sure it can be done. But that game actually was released in arcades. That was an arcade machine uh, game. So it was designed around eating your money, uh, which is why it's so hard. So completing it legitimately, yeah, uh, yeah I guess, but not easily. Complete it on, emulate, on an emulator, yeah, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I really have actually enjoyed this quite a bloody lot, actually. Um, and always, as always, I should say, till next time, I'm going to go get coffee.